Hi Cancer, welcome to your monthly tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality for the month of June. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out your Uranus into Taurus special. Um, if you're a sun sign, definitely. If you're an, a, uh, a, an ascendant Cancer, especially. Um, you know, I've said this to everybody. I would like to bless both of these decks with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So in those uh, special videos, I do tarot, I talk about the astrology, it's a seven year transit, it's going to be a big one, it's going to change you and change your life in so many different broad and diverse ways. Um, so check it out, make sure you do and if you are still with me seven years from now, which I hope you are, um, I intend to do a massive talk about you know what it meant for everybody and how the predictions were on or off. So. Uh, your actions and your interactions with the world at large this month. You got the moon card. So the moon is your ruler to start with, um, but it actually represents the sign of Pisces in tarot. Um, so when you get the moon card, this is about musing over the past. This is about looking into the past. It's about, um, you know, because <laughs> it's about asking yourself about your instincts. And this is what I kind of feel, because this is your actions and your interactions. So this is what you will be doing. You will be combing through, and you know, cancer is one of the, the signs most prone to go over the past and to look at things and to analyze them and you know, dig through and sift through. I'm a moon sign cancer, so you know, I do this quite a lot as well. You know, I mull over things in my mind. Um, and your actions and your interactions. So the moon, like I said, it represents your past. It represents viewing the past, understanding the past, troweling the past, but it also talks about your instincts. It also talks about your subconscious. It talks about, you know, the deeper aspects of you. It talks about the the back of the head, the part of, you know, the, the deep part at the back of the head where all of the yeah, the stuff that you don't necessarily let out on a day-to-day -day basis is held that's where this stuff is kept um and when you get this in your actions and your interactions this is going to see you getting into your instincts getting into your feelings really starting to you know to, to emote them you know and by tapping into your feelings and more importantly tapping into your instincts you become you know it enhances your psychic gifts you, you know, because the moon represents your dreams, it represents your um, your internal world. And the thing is, although psychic ability, you know, has, you know, and intuition is a massive part, don't forget we're, we're humans, we're, but we're animals as well. We've got fur on our bodies, you know, and it stands on end when we feel something or when something moves through us or around us that we can't necessarily see or, you know, this is about learning to intuit that stuff. And I think this month you're really going to be searching the data banks of your that really freaked the life out of me then. <laughs> Something's just switched on outside. You know, just like that. Like, my hairs are standing up on end now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love the way this stuff works. It truly does amaze me. You know, we are physical beings. We are physical animals as well as spiritual and psychic beings. And this is going to see you really tapping into that energy. It will also see you, uh, for a lot of you, I think the month of June isn't just going to be about your instincts and your, and you know, and you trailing through your past. This is going to be about you facing a lot of your fears, Cancer. I think this is going to be the month where you really start to dig deep into your, you know, whatever your fears are and say to yourself, right, okay, you know what, I'm ready to face that beastie down. And more importantly, I'm ready to find whatever power there is in that. And if you can dig deep into your past and dig deep into whatever your personal issues are or the things that you can't hold, you know, that you find hard letting go of, if you can do that and find some way to really, you know, do it and let it go, you release the knots that you tie in your soul or even in your physical body. And when you can do that, that energy is free. It's yours for the taking and it's yours for the use. I see this, this moon card in your actions, in your interactions, as cancer facing their fears this month. And not just facing their fears, but facing their fears and winning. 
So, your money and your materials this month. This is your finances, your home, your job, all of this stuff. It can be all of the above or just one specific area. So you get, oh, look at that. Absolutely stunning. You get the 10 of pentacles. This is gonna be a good month for money, guys. This is gonna be a, a really good month for financial abundance. It's gonna be a good month for financial um, understanding as well. It's interesting because, you know, when you read these two cards together, I kind of see by facing your fears and approaching the things from your past, you're gonna be freeing up a lot of energy. And that energy's got to go somewhere and I kind of feel like you're going to divert it into making and creating more abundance and more wealth for yourself. The Ten of Pentacles is total abundance. It, you know, and I would even go as far as to say, this is you trawling through your past and saying, right, okay, what were my ideas? You know, and if you're letting go of the fear, it's like you're able to truly embrace an idea, to run with it and say, right, okay, you know what? I'm fearless now. And in that fearlessness, I'm gonna go for this idea. I'm gonna make this idea happen. I'm gonna make it work. And that starts to build a momentum. It starts to make th things happen for you. It starts to make things possible for you. Um, the 10 of pentacles is the happy home, the abundant home. It is a uh, family business. You know, cancer does really, really well from working from home. I mean, I'm a moon sign cancer. Fair enough, I'm a sun sign Aquarian and a, a Leo rising, but I'm a moon sign cancer. My home is my power base. And this is a home-based business. And it, you know, it's something that I'm blessed to say is, is growing from strength to strength. But this is, you know, it's about your dwelling, it's about your home, it's about your finances, it's about, and the beauty of it is it's, there's enough of it to go around. You can share this with other people because it's so abundant. This is a really good month for money and this is a really good month for you to implement any ideas that you have that could p potentially bring you money or be lucrative for you. And by letting go of the fear, you free that energy up to pour into these ideas and that is a really, really exciting prospect. Your communications with the world at large. Have a look at this. Oh, wow, okay. So you got two. You got the world card, which is new time. You know, the, when you see the world card, it's the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a brand new one. And this opposes the moon. So this is like your past. And the world card, although it's number 21, it's actually the 22nd major, major arcana. Wait till you see what I've got behind this. You know, really exciting, really mind blowing. It's opposing the world. And the world card rules Saturn, you know, which is an earth energy, which is about crystallization. Once you let the fear go and truly move past it, Saturn's then gonna give you the, or the world card then gives you the opportunity to truly create, um, truly create, truly communicate the changes that you've made. And this is gonna do wonders for your career. This is gonna do wonders for your personal interactions because, you know, and people are gonna see you actually putting this stuff into practice. When you see the world card, you have stepped through a door. When you see the world card, you are stepping into a brand new era. When you see the world card, this is you finding some reward for hard work and hard effort put in. So the hard work and the challenges that you have this month will be you trawling through your past and deciding what your fears are and where to let them go. When you can do that, you free up a lot of energy that starts to create abundance or starts to at least put the seeds into the ground for you to start growing them, yeah? And then, <laughs> as if that's not enough, you get the, the chariot, which is the sign of cancer. You know, the chariot represents the exoskeleton of the, of the, um, of the cancer, of the cancer, you know, of the crab. And this is, so it's interesting because it's like you're tending to your inner world, your emotions, the deeper part of you combing through your past and saying, right, okay, what do I need to let go of? And when you're doing that, you're creating opportunities for abundance for yourself by pouring that energy into the ideas that you were too afraid to do. And then once you do that, you, you know, you, your communications, this is you saying to the world, right, okay, 
I'm ready to change now and I've already done the hard work and I'm actually going this way. I'm moving forward. I'm about the future now. I'm about something else. And then you've got the chariot card, which is you in all of your prime and your glory coming forward to say, look, you know what? It's success. It's victory. When you see the chariot card, it's fast and it's quick. And this, I've said this for everybody so far, this month is gonna be fast. This month is gonna be quick. It's not gonna be one that, you know, takes ages to go. It's just gonna zip by and you're gonna be like, shit, okay, where did June go? You know, and before you know it, we're gonna be out of Gemini season and straight into yours, which is really, really exciting as well. So your communications are blessed because they're bringing you new things. They're also bringing you, uh, bringing things to a satisfactory close. If you have any conversations that you know you need to have to end one phase of your life, this will be the month that you have them. This will be the month where you close things off so that you can lay the foundations for brand new things. And then in your heart and your half, you have the, the chariot card, which means success. It means victory. It means achievement, accomplishment, but it's fast movement as well. For those of you that are partnered, this says to me that you will be thinking about travel. This says to me that you got you and your partner are long overdue a break. You are long overdue some time off where you can just kick back and put your feet up and say, hasn't it been a year? Hasn't it been a time? Um, for those of you that are single, this is you finding somebody that is, for those of you that are single, you will be finding a partner that is vastly different to what you expect. This person will probably be older than you. Even for those of you that are like, oh no, but I only like people that are younger than me. Like this will be you seeing yourself drawn to and attracted to somebody that is totally different. And because the world card represents Saturn, I kind of feel like this is gonna be somebody you know that's that's older than you so or certainly somebody that comes across as very mature but also very successful in your personal interactions and relationships you know so your family and your friends this kind of says that this is about adventure it's about you know spontaneity as well if, if anybody invites you to do something this is the month to go this is a really exciting spread, guys. You've got three major cards out of the four. You've got a, a massive one there. So you've got the water in, in the water sector. You've got the earth in the earth sector. You've got Saturn and you've got the moon. And these two energies opposing each other. You know, you are definitely clearing out your closet. You are definitely clearing out your past and making way for a very, very bright future. And that is truly, truly exciting. Oh, um. <laughs> get so carried away with the message here um so your key for the month the extra message that the tarot has for you is strength <laughs> look at that i mean this is about you taming your emotions and once you've got a true handle on your emotions and how to work with them and how to focus and channel that um that energy and the really interesting thing is the strength card has come up for every single sign. And the strength card represents the sign of Leo, but it also represents our ability to channel our emotions and discover a strength that we never knew we had. And it's come up for every single reading so far in some way, shape or form. And that is truly, truly exciting. It represents the lion. This is about finding your royalty within yourself. You know, we've just had the royal wedding. Um, this could, for some of you, be you finding your personal prince or princess to marry. You know, that it is that kind of energy. For those of you that are in established bonds, this is blessings, this is abundance, this is money finally making its way into your life. This is, you know, so much wealth and so much abundance that it overflows, that there's enough to give to the people that you love and care about. You know, this is a month to play the lottery. This is a month to start a business. This is a month for, you know, and a lot of people are like, oh, well, Mars is retrograde. And, you know, we are heading towards what I affectionately term retrogradia. And I will be creating a video about that um, separately. So keep an eye out for it. But this is just a powerhouse month for you, Cancer. This is, you know, it's an amazing month. And if you let it and you, you're willing to do the work and to really dig deep, the rewards will be vast. 
They really, really will. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to, I do that because I never know which side the button is on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you feel to donate because this video has helped you in some way, shape, or form, you can do so on the link below. We would be eternally grateful for it. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself, which it looks like you're gonna have no trouble with. Um, <laughs> have an amazing month, and I will see you very soon. Take care.